All right, in this video, we're looking at the classification of differential equations. Uh, there's three criteria here. Is it linear or nonlinear? First order, second order, be third, fourth, or any higher order up to n? Or is it ordinary or partial? Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this stuff. Uh, really, this video is just to introduce to you um, to kind of the concepts so you can uh, you know, just be able to classify differential equations. And once you can do that, then you can pick which methods um, which methods you need to solve them. Uh, and we'll get more into the methods in another video. But this is just kind of an introduction to the classification. So first of all, let's look at ordinary or partial. So what I've done here is actually I've kind of color-coded these all into uh, corresponding uh, classifications. And uh, we'll get around to each of these by the end of the video. But for ordinary or partial, if a differential equation is ordinary, it has ordinary derivatives in it only, like regular derivatives like y prime or just dy dt, which is the same thing, um, versus a partial differential equation has partial derivatives in it. So this purple one down here, um, basically you see it has a little partial derivative signs here that I've attempted to draw. If you see those, you know right away that this is a partial differential equation. Now these ones are actually uh, quite a bit tougher and uh, get a lot more in depth so we're not really going to worry about these for right now. Um, so we'll just look at the, the blue, green, and the red differential equations over here. But now you know just to look for partial derivatives and if you find them you'll know that it is a partial differential equation. So next up we have the order. Um, the order is just the, the highest derivative that you see in the equation. Uh, so let's look at these blue ones here. You see y prime, 2y prime, 2y prime, dy dt, y prime. Um, you're just seeing like the first derivatives in all of these blue ones. So these are all first order differential equations. In the green one here, you see y double prime. And then here, 3x plus 2 times y double prime, or d squared y plus dd, uh, dt squared. That's also exactly the same thing as saying y prime prime or y double prime. So these are all second order differential equations. Um, now uh, we could have third order or fourth order like I said. For example we could have just something instead of uh, y prime prime we could have y prime prime prime, y triple prime, right? And this would now become a third order differential equation. Um, or we could uh, you know make it uh, fourth or higher. Now the other thing about these two, uh, these blue ones and these green ones, these are both linear differential equations. Uh, basically linear, for something to be linear, the y term, which is the dependent variable, um, I'll try to always use y as the dependent variable, and then either t or x for the independent, uh, that's the most common. Um, but the y variable, so the dependent variable, can be multiplied to a constant number, a zero, or a function that's non-constant or just any function really of the dependent variable so like a function f of x or f of t we can multiply any of those to our dependent variable and that'll still be linear now the thing that would make an equation non-linear so for example in this one like a b c could all be either you know constants zeros or functions um, something that would make an equation non-linear would be to have the y term or a derivative of the y term appearing inside of a function. Uh, something like over here, um, notice that we have sine of y. Um, that would definitely make this nonlinear. Also, if we had y terms multiplied to each other. So here you see like the y double prime is not multiplied by any other y or derivative of y. You know, and same with any of these. See, we could have y times sine of t. But that's like sine of the t um, variable, so that's not going to affect the, you know, if this is linear or not. It strictly depends on the dependent variable. So again, if we had a dependent variable times a dependent variable in one term, look here, this one again is nonlinear. So all these red ones here are nonlinear. Um, so we already talked about these two. Again, if we just distributed the y, we'd have 3y squared. Um, that definitely makes this term nonlinear, which makes the whole differential equation nonlinear. But now if we're back looking at linear ones in blue and green, for example, we could have sine of 2t, we could have 2, we could raise something e to the power of t or e to the power of negative t squared. We can do whatever we want to this t variable or, you know, again, sometimes I might be using x, like here we have some x squareds and stuff, e to the x. That's fine. We can do whatever we want basically to those independent variables. It's just if we do something weird like square this 2 here, y squared, that would become nonlinear. 
So anyways, that's just a you know, brief introduction. Um, so basically looking here, if you can separate out all these terms, so there's only one y term or one y variable in each term, you have uh, definitely linear. Again, look for the highest derivative you can see here would be second order, this would be first order. So now you just know the, the three different ways to classify differential equations. And uh, in the next video, we'll start solving the first order linear equations. So join me in that video and then uh, we'll get right to it.